UAF Cooperative Extension Service. Extending knowledge, changing lives. Summer in Alaska can mean more than 400 lightning strikes a day across the state. And with plenty of fuel on the ground, that lightning can spark up a wildfire emergency. So Alaskans need to be alert, aware, and prepared. Hi, I'm Glenn Holt, Forestry Specialist for the University of Alaska Fairbanks Cooperative Extension Service with tips on how to be prepared for a wildfire in your area. Forest fires are a natural part of our environment and many wildfires in Alaska are not actively fought because they're not near population centers. Most of the fires that are actively fought by fire departments, forestry, or BLM are those in the urban-rural interface, such as the 1995 Miller's Reach fire in Big Lake. Homeowners can play an active role in reducing the risk of wildfire affecting homes and property being firewise in how they build, landscape, and maintain their property. Because it's important to know where wildfires are in your area once you are alerted by smoke in the air, media, or friends, going to the State Forestry Incident website is an excellent way to learn about current conditions and what routes of exit are available should fire approach your home. If there's no fire in your area, this resource helps you to know what current burn restrictions are in place. The other thing to be aware of is what type of items you should have on hand in case you are caught in a wildfire perimeter containment area. Extension's publication, Emergency Preparedness for Alaskans, lists things that you should have on hand. Food, water, cooking equipment, sanitation supplies, tools, and believe it or not, fuel for running a generator that can power a water pump. A pump combined with sprinkler hoses on the roof has saved many homes from floating embers igniting the roofs of structures. And while you can't control what fuels are available in your region or where a lightning strike may occur by maintaining your property, staying informed about conditions, and having important supplies on hand, you can remain safe when wildfire occurs. For more information, contact your local Cooperative Extension Service office.